Well, I'm Mike Crenshaw, I'm the executive director here at uh, New Home. Uh, New Home recently going through a uh, rebranding. Um, New Home, uh, the board saw our former name, Choices Incorporated, as um, confusing to a lot of our donors. And so we rebranded to New Home, which better reflects uh, the mission of the organization. Uh, new, taken from new Nulu area in which we currently live in, or work in, uh, our families live in, uh, and new means now, and hope, opportunity, motivation, empowerment is home. Uh, a group of uh, community members saw an increased number of women and families who were in the Nulu and Phoenix Hill area of Louisville that were on the streets with no place to go. And the a group from uh, Liberty Baptist, which is right next door to us here, they had uh, a home, which, is, which was our first home, which is a five bedroom house, that they made available for uh, the organization to be able to place families in, um, in order to get them off the street on a temporary basis. Since that time, we've kind of evolved um, we've added quite a few new, new properties, um, and we are now permanent supported housing for the homeless. Uh, permanent supported housing basically is uh, a family that is referred to us by the Coalition for the Homeless. Uh, we place them into their own home and then begin providing uh, supportive services like case management, life skills, and safety education in order to help overcome the barriers which caused their initial homelessness. Recently, we had a single father uh, that was on our program with two daughters. Um, he came to us from Michigan where he had a very difficult past that he was trying to leave behind things and he came to Louisville to start over and to bring his daughters up right. Um, as a result of being a gang member, he lost one of his eyes. Uh, it was a very difficult situation. Um, once he got under our program, he completely got off of drugs. Um, I think he's 12 years uh, sober now. Um, both of his daughters graduated from high school here. Um, and one of them who was trying to get a job in the criminal justice system, um, she got a full scholarship to um, North Carolina. Um, and when she got there, somehow switched to um, mortuary services. And she's on a full scholarship now with, for mortuary services. Uh, but they graduated from this program and uh, he, he was able to purchase a home. Uh, he started fixing up cars and repairing cars and kind of had a, uh, I won't say a used car lot, but, but he was selling them as he was repairing them. And he was able to get a small house out in the Newburgh area and he's now fully self-sufficient. So on behalf of the families that we work with, I would like to say thank you so much to the Kentucky Colonels. Uh, each member who supports the, the Kentucky Colonels is making a huge impact here 